Hi friends, uh, welcome to Aditya RPA Academy, BTM Layout Bangalore. We are continuing to work with date functions in Blue Prism RPA. In this video, we are going to select a date add function. If you really like this video, you please subscribe and you please refer to our friends. And there are like, uh, while you are adding dates, okay, there are like uh, two types of intervals. One is like a fixed intervals and uh, non-fixed intervals of time. So for fixed intervals, for, just go to Blue Prism. Okay, first we will select fixed intervals. Okay, make date. Select a day. It's 26. And fifth month. And here is here is a 2009 paste it plus and uh, go for like a make time span highlight time span then let us select a number of days uh, three and uh, zero hour zero minutes zero then uh, seconds also zero paste it then assign a name for this one add date or uh, date add date add then click on shortcut to get the result now you can see the result so now I added like a you know, time. Okay, now we'll save for time. Okay, make time. Hours, 30 minutes 0 seconds plus make time span days hours minutes and seconds paste it then run it so reset it and then run it Now you can see we are like a time. Similar to that, go to date add function. So here we can use the date add function for non-fixed interval of time that can vary depending on the time of year and the date add function provides some useful intervals. So we'll see like you now here the each type of interval will represent by the numbers so we'll see those numbers so the interval if it is zero it represents year and date difference is also year and the interval one if the number is one it, rep it will represents like a week function and number two is is for weekdays number three for like seconds and number four for quarters and number five for months and number five is for minute and number seven for hour number eight for date of year and number nine is for day right so go to like a blue prism 
and expand date function highlight date yard. And here interval, so here I am taking, I am giving like a 1 for weeks, 1 represent week and number is let us say like you know, 5 and then date, okay select like a make date. So let's select a 26, 5, 5 months, and then 2009, paste it, then click on OK, and then click on Paste. So here, it will the one represents like, it's so a week. I click on Shortcut. So reset it. So if you observe here, so we have given a twenty six five two thousand nine, and it is showing like six thirty two thousand nine. So instead of uh, giving insight here, let me define one date data item here date data item let me assign a name for this one let's say make date date then so here i'm giving like a today's date So one the interval is one and the number is let us say like two. So number one represents interval one represents like weeks and the number represents like uh, we'll see and today's date drag and drop like a make date click on paste okay. So here is like an initial date and it's a current date. If you observe here, so it's added like two weeks, means like a 14 days added to the initial date. So reset it. Now I am changing the one represents like weeks. So here I am changing the intervals, let us say like a four, means it's going to be added like in 28 days to the Take an initial date. So twenty eight means here twenty eight plus uh, fifteen like a forty three means thirty days go over like you no know, it's a one month like you know four becomes five and plus thirteen days like one three. So reset it. Now I'm going to add like only one week. So reset it, then run it. If you observe here, like a 15 plus 7, 22. Next, we'll see years. So, 0 represents like a year. So, reset it. It's like 2018 becomes like 2019. Means we added like 1 year. 0, 1. 1 means like a number, like a 
So if I if I would like to allocate two years, change it to two, reset it, and then run it. So if you observe here, the two thousand eighteen becomes like in two thousand twenty. Suppose I would like to change it to like you know, two years back. If I mention like a you know, minus, we'll see what's going on. So it becomes like it less it. Uh, you know, switch back to like 2016 right let me change it to like a minus one so using this function we can add or we can decrease or increase like you know, years or days so it's changing like a 2017 and here I am changing the interval is 4 the number 4 so it represents like a quarters means like on 3 months I am adding like you know, 1 quarter means like 3 months so reset it and then run it so here so we are still like 4th month 15th day 2018 and we added like one quarter, added like three months, like seven, fifteen, two thousand eighteen. So reset it. Let me decrease like one quarter, like minus one. Okay, then reset it, then run it. So it becomes like a four, becomes like a one. It's you know, uh, it becomes like you know, reduced like three months, like one quarter. like if you change it like you know, two quarters it's going to be add like a two quarters means two quarters means like six months and plus four like it becomes like a 10 15 2018 we'll see the result right so 10 15 2018 so reset it and then so here i'm changing the interval as a five so we'll represent like a month. Here I would like to allocate two months to the existed date. Now you can see where uh, four becomes like you know, six. Six fifteen two thousand eighteen. I reset it. If I would like to reduce like a two months, like it becomes like a minus two. So reset it and then run it. So if you observe here, the four becomes like a two. So far here we can we have, we have already seen addition and subtraction of like a two dates, like a two intervals. Here I would like to add let's say like a six months. So number six, five represents like a month and six represents like a number. And then run it. Now you can see this added like you know, six months.